Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, the weather the past couple of weeks and really, you know, late fall has been quite nice to us, but we're going to jazz up the forecast a little bit and it may not be the way we want it to really. We're going to get some strong winds on Monday and uh, we're, we're, you know, be nice to get some snow. And we're going to see that later on the forecast, but in the near term, we got to be watching this storm carefully for some potential power outages on Monday. 7 a.m. We're waking up with some showers across the state. These are going to be some light rain showers. And then once we get closer to that cold front, that's where we're going to see some heavier showers and you can count on some heavy showers hours at some point late Monday afternoon into the evening. That's also going to be our time frame for those strong to damaging winds and on the back side of the system too warm for any snow showers. So for this round, we are not talking about any flakes, no mixed precipitation, nothing like that. In fact, we see some of the snow melting up in the high country, northern New England. This is going to be a real warm system for us. Temperatures in the 60s on Monday. Tuesday, it gets cooler, and that sets the stage for mixed precipitation up in the hills Tuesday evening. And then for Wednesday evening, I think it's going to be cold enough to see some stuff stick to the surfaces, uh, especially to the northwest of the I-84 corridor. So potentially some accumulating snow for Wednesday evening. That is pending how cold it gets after the system. Storm impacts for Monday. Damaging wind, flooding, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, lightning. Nothing is going to be a concern except for the damaging wind threat because of this huge change in temperatures going from the 60s to the 40s within a six hour time span. It's going to be uh, quite the quite the shock to the system Monday evening. Wind chills right now it doesn't take much to make those 30s feel much colder. It's very chilly outside and if you, all it takes is one gust to make it not feel quite so comfortable outside, especially since we were doing so good yesterday in the 50s for those high temperatures. Temperatures into Sunday evening got a little bit of a gust as well. Therefore, we have somewhat of a wind chill for Sunday evening and then for Monday there really is no wind chill factor. So what I'm showing you here is the wind gusts. It's going to be in the 50s and 60s. So we're not talking about the wind making it feel cold for us, but uh, the wind is going to be too strong. So in fact, it could cause some tree limbs to get ripped off for Monday afternoon. See those Purple contours on there, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts across the entire state. This model giving New London at this point a 57 mile per hour wind gust. That's too strong. That That is going to be enough for potentially uh, some trees to come down. Looking at satellite radar over the past six hours, most of New England is clear right now, and that's going to allow for temperatures to drop uh, quite fast for the next several hours. Right now, it's chilly outside. Just showed you the wind chill. As of right now on the thermometer, most places are below freezing. It's a chilly, a seasonably chilly evening for us across New England for this uh, this December day. Normally for this time of the year, we're looking for a high temperature of 45 degrees. Low temperature on average is 28 degrees. And for late fall, it's not like we're going to expect snow every week or every day, nothing like that. Uh, but we have generally been looking at some above average temperatures and uh, that's going to change the overall change in the trend for the end of the forecast and into the seven day. Looking for the near term here, we're going to be starting off tomorrow with dry conditions, actually some sun out there. The sun won't last forever. So if you do see it at any point this weekend, consider yourself lucky. There's no guarantees with the sun. Uh, some thin high clouds, definitely a possibility. But what's nice about the weekend is that we're completely dry. We're dry until Monday. Low temperatures for tonight down to 25 degrees in Hartford. It is going to be a chilly evening for us. We're waking up tomorrow and uh, we got the winter gear on yet again. Maybe not so much in the afternoon if you're able to get some sunshine, but we're looking at a seasonably chilly weekend ahead for us. Uh, probably, you know, um, bundling up a little bit. And then Monday, it's just going to be way different. So we're not really wearing a winter coat, but we're wearing something waterproof for sure. 42 degrees on Tuesday. Mixed precipitation, tail end of that system on Wednesday, accumulating snow possible. And it looks like we got another storm down the pipe on Friday. The weather is going to get active once we get to the work week.